What is up, beautiful people, YouTube? My name is Yuri Tastic, and welcome back to another episode of GTA 5 LSPDF 4. Today, with the Blaine County Sheriff's Department. Now, today's Blaine County Sheriff's Department is very, very special because we're rolling unmarked and undercover. We are still uniformed, all right, but we are unmarked and undercover. Uh, and this beautiful undercover Tahoe made by Frost88. One of the best to do it out there in the community. I'm gonna actually go this way so I can so, show you guys a little bit around as you almost said, just so you. So you guys, so I can show you guys around it. Now another special thing about this episode is we are rolling with Natural Vision Evolved. This is NVE. I am using a different ENB settings that most of the YouTubers that you're used to seeing. I know my homie, not AJ, and uh, my homie, LSP4 Officer Rodriguez. What they use is uh, color grading EMB. I'm using the sharpening SMAA, I believe it's called. I just like that a little better. Uh, of course, we're gonna be using all different types of settings for EMB, but today I decided to go with the sharpening. So we're all using we are using the ultra settings for Natural Vision Evolve NVE. Uh, let's go ahead and show the car. Here's uh, TA Stage One. Pretty nice wig wags. Stage Two. Got a little bit in the back. A little bit in the side. A little bit in the front and stage three just all out stage three just goes all out in the front and in the back so that's what we got today uh we are blaine county of course um nothing really special with the uniforms you guys seen it many many times is the blaine county sheriff's department uniform uh that comes with the eup but like i said guys today we are rolling uh undercover and unmarked well, i wouldn't say undercover but i would say unmarked slick top um not really undercover for that sense so it is my pleasure you guys have to decide to join me for the next 5 10 20 30 minutes of this episode we're going to keep it short and brief for the intro and as always guys if juritastic is the name then lsb4 must be the game dispatch go ahead and show me 10 41 10 8 then let's get it out here uh and let's get it started and one more thing while we're rolling out here in case you're wondering what kind of uh, color i've picked for my unmarked car i uh, decided to go with a dark navy blue is what they call it i think that I like navy blues for Tahoe, especially for Tahoe. My favorite two things for 15 or, and, and up Tahoe is either navy blue or white. So today we're going with the navy blue. So let's get it. I'm very, very excited to be trying Natural Vision Evolved. It's something that we've all obviously been waiting for for a long time. And uh, it's here now. So we are going to be patrolling Blaine County, like I said, mostly Sandy Shores and Harmony. We're not going to go too deep into Blaine County. We've got Stolen vehicle investigation. On, um, Route 68. Units what the hell? Two. We're gonna ignore that ambient event. I don't like ambient events, but uh, 1948 dispatch show me a 76. We're gonna ignore that ambient event. I, as much as I turn ambient events off for some reason, you could never completely fully turn them off. That was very stupid. The stolen car th stuff just happens way too long. Put a different siren in there. I did forget the name for it already, so I apologize about that. But we do have a different siren in there. Uh, they're asking us to respond code 2 and this is where okay this is but down in harmony not sure what a code 2 response for just investigating but it might have been a crime that just uh, happened right now or not right now but you know somewhat recently we'll go ahead do what we need to do do our job and the rest is up to the to the grand of thought oh, 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 oh. Okay, they don't really move for you when you're going code two so we're gonna go ahead and go code stage three i mean when you go stage two uh, so that was that was a little bit naive on my part should i remember that when you have your legs at stage two and that's before they don't move for you but stage three they'll move for you okay i see a big trailer that i've never seen before 1948 county show me 23. all right let's go ahead and uh investigate this i don't think we need our license necessarily go ahead and get out of here and see what's going on Really love this Tahoe. Like I said, Frost 88 is one of the best to do it. Spec the vents of all possible stolen vehicles. Scene. Speed with any suspects. Okay. Well, I mean, it's a truck here that's parked illegally anyways. It's a very, not as suspicious, it's a very interesting truck. To check vehicle VIN repeat for multiple areas of the vehicle to ensure. Okay. Well, we'll do that in just a second. Like I said, very interesting um, trailer there. I think we go by Y and uh, do we have check VIN? Uh, no, we don't. I think it's what it is. You're supposed to press Y or something and check the VIN of it. But I wouldn't imagine there's too many cars in here that are, that are just hanging around. Um, okay, we check the VIN this way. Is it part of the call? No. Uh-oh, no. Did not want to do that. I'm trying to check the VIN, bro. We're trying. 
Is it Z? Nope. Um, what we will do is just do a regular, I guess, plate. Come here. There's a plate for us. Hopefully we don't get hit by a car, but dispatch, gotta get a check. It's gotta be 76 Edward Henry Whiskey 969. Target yes, I plate. know. 76 Edward Henry William 969. A traffic violation. Proceed with caution. Expired registration, but as far as anything else, nothing. Um, I get the lights, the back lights display matches the front. There we go. I'm gonna speak to a few subjects here. Looks like the guy's working right here. Howdy, sir. We don't really have a warrant to be in here, so keep that in mind. We're just out of curiosity. Hey, man. Uh, my name is Deputy Jury Tastic with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Can I speak with you? Uh, do you work here? Is this yours? Uh, hey, I don't know anything. I really only work here uh, when there's jobs to do. Okay. Can you tell me about the vehicles here? Like, are, they've come in today, and we've got uh, we got to get them out of the customer really quick. Out to the customer really quickly. Okay. All right. Well, thanks a lot, man. So not much you can get from him. I mean, he's telling you came in today. We'll go ahead and get a check on this one. Dispatch can we get a check and uh, it's got to be 24 Yankee Zebra Tango 869. Target vehicle license plate 24 Young Zebra Tom 869. So a that one doesn't violation. have a registration. A traffic violation. This one. Proceed with caution. Okay, we really, like I said, we really can't be just here doing what we're doing. Uh oh. Why is he running? Yo, sir, sir, sir. Uh, dispatch. 1948. I got one running, one running on foot. Uh, Harmony is going by scoops. It's going by the discount store right now. Uh, it's going to be blackmail. Sir, stop right there. BCSO, stop right there. Sir. Uh, oh, we got him. We got him. Move, move, move. Hands up, hands up, hands up. Hands up, man. Hands up, bro. That, that laser, I'm not a big fan of it, but it sure helped that time. I don't know why he ran. I don't know what his deal is. Dispatch 1948. I got 11015. What the hell? What the hell did you run for, bro? What'd you run for, man? His face looks pale. Okay, I'm gonna pat you down before we start. Anything is gonna poke, stick, or hurt me on you. I tase you because you ran from me, man. I'm here to talk to you. Just bolt out. It doesn't matter. Detain or not, that's kind of suspicious activity right there. Illegal prescription pills, burn meth pipe, a bong. How does he have a bong? Okay, the birth map by, by get it, but the bong, like, sometimes the, the stuff you find on him is just a little bit over the top. Like a bong, like, really? He has a bong. Okay. But, um, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about it. But anyways, man. Okay, so you're gonna have a whole lot of stuff right now. So you are, you are being placed under arrest. I just want to let you know that. Anything you say can be will be used against your court of law. You have the right to remain silent. If you can't afford an attorney. Okay, anyways, man, let's let's go ahead and just deal with him. All right, sir, so you are being placed under arrest. So I'm going to read your rights. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, let's just go ahead and let him know he's being arrested. All right, sir, you are going to be placed under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be will be used against your court of law. You have the right to attorney. If you can't can afford one, the state of San Andreas will provide you one. You understand those rights? Okay, do you wish to speak to me at all? Or let's go ahead and ask him, what's this, what's this white powder in this... I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. So what you doing, man? Why'd you run from me? It's none of your business. So you don't want to speak to me. Do you have any warrants or anything like that? You can't remember. All right. So you you really don't want to talk, do you? Okay. Uh, dispatch. Got to get a check. Rolf Warden is going to be Whiskey, Orbit, Romeo, Delta, Edward, November for last name. Uh, 416, 1990. Okay, Vala Vala. Now, man, you're not even wanting anything like that. Were you running because you had the drugs on you? Could, could have been why, guys. Could have been has nothing to do with our investigation. He ran because of drugs on him. So we are going to wait for this Speedy Gonzalez here. Wait to cross the road. Um, put him in the back of the car. Go back in there. Continue our investigation, which is definitely a, a little bit more interesting. Now, whoever's truck that is, though. Okay, let's go ahead and cross the road a little faster. Whatever truck that is, that's not cool. You cannot be parked like that. It is their lot, technically. I, maybe, actually, they could park like that, honestly. It is their lot. Now, what I do like about this unmarked car is that you do have a cage in the back so you can go ahead and put people in there uh put in a rear vehicle seat go ahead and have a seat here man i'll be right with you in just a second gotta go ahead and lock the car make sure he doesn't get out nothing like that uh his face looks pale it's probably under the influence as well so we have one person that talked to us the other person decided to run um actually I gotta just go ahead up. 
Dispatch, can you go ahead and roll another unit my way? Route 68. I'm gonna just go ahead and get another unit here just because. What happened is a lot of stuff going on and I got a suspect in my car. I just want to make sure everything's school and steady over here. We're going to talk to the owner. Um, we still don't know which car it is. We'll go check the back a little bit. Let's see if he gives us or not the owner. Seems like the manager. Howdy, sir. Deputy Jertastic with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. You know where he ran at all? You don't know? You don't want to talk about it? Okay, man. And so, do you work here? Now you're just harassing me and my employees come back with a search warrant. All right, man. All right, I understand. Seriously? I understand. I'm going to go ahead and... The problem is I can't really go in the back of the car here and I can't pretend like I've seen it. All right, man. All right, well, get out. He really wants us out of here. Yo, buddy, come here. I'm talking to my cop here. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, looks like he's stuck in there. Oh, there's another car in the back. I mean, the same private property. I'm, I'm Technically, because I can just go in the back, but... If this car comes back to anything stolen at all, this is a very interesting call that we're having here, guys. But if this car comes to anything stolen at all, I'm, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna literally go ahead and arrest uh, the owner as well for possession of stolen, uh, receiving stolen property. Dispatch, gotta get a check at seven eight Papa Victor November A three eight. Target vehicle license plate seven eight Paul Victor Nora eight three eight. A traffic violation. So we got two a cars. Traffic violation. We got two cars that are not. Necessarily in um, stolen, but no registration. I'm actually gonna go ahead and book this one. Um, at this case, I believe it does give us. I don't know, man. I'm to so all of you guys, all of you law nuts out there. Do you think at this case we would have enough to go in the? You know, in oh boy. Oh. I wonder if we have enough to go in there. I know we have enough because we already checked it. I already know that that car is. This car right here is uh, no registration. All right, sir. Well, I understand you don't want to talk to us. That's fine. However, um, that adder right there has no registration when I ran it. It's getting towed. Can I be in your shop? Um, I know I didn't have a search warrant like you say, and I didn't have a search warrant to get here. Cool, but I checked it too late, too bad. So sad. All right. Okay, man. So we understand each other correctly. That's what's happening. Pretty sure that, that that deputy just completely ruined my car right now. So this the car is getting. I don't know about the third car. I'm I'm getting out of here. But he wants to play by the book. I'm taking these cars and and that's that. And that's that. There's another tow truck there. Oh boy, this is getting this is getting messy. I'm gonna get in here real quick. I'm just gonna get in here real quick and uh, just spin around. Let it, let it, let them figure this out. This is. This is crazy. Do we still have the suspect in the back? Sometimes they despawn. Okay, we do. Needing backup. I don't need backup. All right, man. So you understand what you're getting arrested for, right? The drugs and all that stuff. Okay. I mean, I wasn't going to search you, man. I was going to talk to you like I talked to your co-worker and call it a day, but you decided to do a whole lot of extra stuff there, man. Uh, legal prescription. So it could be PCP. It could be a lot of things. Sometimes it comes out with PCP. I don't even know you can have PCP as, as a as a pill. To be honest with you, fentanyl, fentanyl is not that. Oh, it is positive. So it's, okay, that's what that is. Fentanyl and bong with powder residue. Now residue, I'm always iffy because a residue. How many tests can you do on residue? So I'm always iffy about that. To be honest with you, I'm gonna go ahead and test it for. Uh, I should have tested meth, not cocaine. Generally, you don't smoke cocaine, but. Oh, it's positive for cocaine. Well, there you go. Fentanyl and cocaine. Perfect. That's what he's going to jail for. Um, and drug paraphernalia as well because he had the birth uh, meth pipe. All right, man. That's what you're going to jail for. I understand those. All right. I wish you didn't run, man. I really wish you didn't. But looks like he's about to get his his first criminal record. Poor guy. But it is what it is. I didn't, I didn't tell him to run away from me and have drugs on him. You know what I mean? So cocaine and drug paraphernalia. There it is. We're going to go ahead and submit the charges, and that's what he's getting booked with. And we're going to go ahead and get a dispatch out here. Dispatch, go ahead and roll me PT my way, please. Of course, I know a lot of you guys have been requesting uh, to add more questions, uh, or that I think it's called serious questions, to, question, uh, to stop the pet. I plan on it. I really do. But uh, for right now, we got that. I just actually did a fresh install of NVE, or of LSB4 for NVE. Which I suggest. I see a lot of people trying to install MV on top of NVR and just creates a mess. And 
and the Discord and the forum is just filled with what happened, what happened, what happened. I tell you what happened. He should have done a clean install. But nevertheless, uh, dispatch, uh, show me code four ten eight. As far as this call, guys, um, we're gonna have to send. Uh, like he said, we're gonna have to get a warrant. Attention, all units. They did not we collect five pieces of evidence. Jeez, Louise, I missed five pieces. I guess we failed on that. But as far as I'm concerned, it's it's a investigation for a stolen vehicle. We ran the vehicles that we could find. Two of them were not registered. They got towed. We can't search his office. We can't search his place. He's right. We do need a search warrant. We don't have that. We can talk about the shady business that we got. Send it to the DA or uh, send it to the judge and see if he issues a warrant for BCSO. As far as right now, we don't have a warrant. And that's why we didn't go in. But with that being said, we're code 4 to 8. Some of you guys might have played that differently. That's how I played it. That trailer truck was very suspicious. But again, he was parked in his property. Maybe he was delivering supplies. So we're going to keep going. The gentleman here is uh, going slow and fast and slow and fast and slow and fast. I'm going to just follow him a little bit. Just check his deal out a little bit more. Don't know his deal. NV does look beautiful. I know by the time YouTube compresses the heck out of... Uh, let's wait for to shut up to listen. We've done this call too many times. Really nothing to... Actually, well, it is kind of serious. We've never done it in uh, 6L22. Urgent assistance requires civilian shining highlight. Okay. Air support unit. Okay. We've never actually done it um, in Sandy Shores. And it's been a while. Actually, we'll go ahead and pick it up. Uh, 1948, uh, show me responding, uh, show me responding code 3. We're going to respond code 3 just because it could potentially be very hazardous and harmful to the people that are flying. So we're actually very around the corner. Uh, 1948 County, show me 1023. Uh, 1948 County, I see... Uh, Show me 1094 out with uh, one white male. Uh, it's got to be uh, Meringu Lane Southbound. Yo, sir, sir, stop it, stop it, my man. Stand back. Stop right there, man. How you doing? Deputy Jury Tastic with the Blaine County Sheriff's Department. Let me see, where's the helicopter? I don't see the helicopter. I hear it, I don't see it. The reason I'm making contact with you today is uh, there was a. Uh, one of the helicopters that called the Sandy Shores airfield to call us about somebody pointing a laser. We come here and you're in the area. So, uh, what's going on with you, man? Um, I don't know if I can ask him what you think you're doing. I didn't actually see him engaging in it, to be honest with you. But I guess we'll start. What's your name, man? Adam Wayne. All right, Mr. Wayne. So, what are you doing out here, man? What do you think you're doing out here? Laser pointing the sky, I suppose. The sky, okay. So, you didn't really ab notice that helicopter up there that you were pointing at it? Uh, it was a mistake, honest, okay. So it was an honest mistake, okay. When did you buy the laser? You found it. Okay, you know, people do make mistakes. I'm not gonna cut his head off for that. Alright, Mr. Wayne. Uh, dispatch, gotta get a check. Adam Wayne, common spelling, 332,000. Valid, valid, none. Okay, now we go to this one right here. Alright, man, just because I'm making contact with you, I'm talking to you, I'd like to make sure everything's fine. Do you mind if I pat you down? And do you have anything illegal on you before I do that? Maybe yes, maybe no. Okay, go ahead and turn around for me. Uh, I hope it doesn't have a lot. We were just talking about it with the homies. Uh, STP, like configurations, we have to tone it down a little bit because almost every person has drugs on them. So hopefully this case turns out normal. He has a clown mask, packing tape, keys. Uh, what's up with the clown mask and a packing tape, man? Got a bunch of keys too. Let's see. Let's ask him this, what he's doing here. So what are you doing with all those? You don't need to answer that. Okay, that's fine, man. Do you live in this neighborhood? Why are you so curious? Because it's my job to be curious, and you just admitted to pointing a laser at a, sky, at, a, at a helicopter, man. You're not any type of drugs, are you? No money, no drugs. All right, man, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to document that I spoke with you. If this is a habit, I did know I didn't think... Uh, you were doing it maybe on purpose. I, I, I'm, I am giving it a bit of a doubt, so I'm going to need you to leave the area. Um, next time, be a little more careful, all right? All right, man. Next time you're going downtown. Um, Literally, you. next time you are going downtown, like he said. That's that for that. I mean, he's he's good to go. So I, I believe him. I don't trust him, but I believe that, you know, it could be an accident. Um, he was walking away from it when we came, but that's that. Dispatch... Uh, 1948, show me 10 7, 10 42. Uh, 
Uh, there's stop the two people who are fighting. Respond code three. Okay, 1948 dispatch. Show me responding code three. We got two people fighting. Seems like involved in a fight. I'm not sure uh, the severity of the fight. If there's any weapons involved or not. We don't really have a lot of information. We're about a mile out. We're about to head that way. Just like to remind you guys that you guys are freaking amazing. We are almost to 10,000 subscribers. 10,000. I know I'm not going to ask for you guys to like the video. I'm not going to ask to subscribe if you haven't. I just want to say I really, truly, genuinely appreciate that you took time out of your day to watch me. There are plenty of LSP4 YouTubers out there. The fact that you would have decided to tune in to watch me is, uh, is just enough for me, man. And thank you guys very much. If you want to hit like the video to support it, you're free to do so. If you want to subscribe, you're free to do so. But I am happy with, with everything you guys have been showing me, man. Throughout the years, not just recently. But thank you guys. I just want to say that once again uh, while we make our way to this uh, call. Uh, I have mixed feelings about the sirens. At first, I liked it, but it could get a little obnoxious. I do like the horn on it. I do like the horn on it. So you guys hear the horn? Actually, it's not that bad. Don't get me wrong. But I don't, I'm not sure if I want to... Keep uh, using it for episode after episode. Uh, dispatch uh, 1948. Show me behind you tools. I'm attempting to locate the two uh, the subject. Okay, I got him. I got him. Dispatch, go ahead and uh, oh shit, what did I need? I need some go ahead and sh send me a backup immediately. On, uh, Yo, guys, cut it out. Cut it out. Both of, you, both of you. Cut it out. Get down. Uh oh, he's got to run now. Get, get down. Dispatch, I got one male shirtless running. Uh, Band of U2s, it's gotta be white male. I hope they go after him. I need uh, no, it's not registering as a pursuit, so they're not gonna go after him. I'm, I'm gonna pat this guy down. Uh, pat him down. God, I, ho I wish it would go after him, but they're not gonna really gonna pick it up, are they? We're gonna. Give it, give it, give him off to him, and then go pick that guy up. At least this guy stopped the pencil pocket camera. Hey man, can you take him for me? I got, I gotta go after that guy. Um, go ahead, man. If you could take it for me, I appreciate it. So he's taking him. Um, we're gonna have to just assume that he's doing all the paperwork with him. We're gonna attempt to go locate that guy. Um, he ran off this way. He didn't really run off to any. Oh boy. All units. We have it's a um It's gonna be very hard to locate him. I'm not I know I'm in Tahoe, but I can't just be going off road up the mountain there. It's part of just keeping it as realistic as possible that we try to do here. I mean this is okay because it's kinda like dirt slash sand, but I don't think he ran off in the highway, that wouldn't be very smart of him. Yeah, I'm really also worried about him and the fact that, as you can see, my lines are everywhere in Blaine County. Uh, I know the game technically isn't registering it right now or registering that I'm looking after him, but I'm hoping that he's still walking around here. I don't think he's going to go this far, though. I think he despawned, unfortunately. But, I mean, we got what we got. The rest isn't really up to us. All units, we've got uh, a possible burglary. A silent security alarm trigger on Marina Drive. Jeez, Louise, it's a busy ship. Uh, 1948 dispatch, just show me responding code 2. We got already got to be responding code 2 to that. Making sure the train is gone, okay. It is a busy shift, man. I like it, I like it. I'm not complaining at all. Usually, um,. For me, at least, Blaine County shifts, Sandy Shore shifts, you know, they're a hit and miss. I do like them the most. I'm a county guy. I, I do like the city. Oof, I had to hit my brakes real hard there. I'm glad I rode with a Tahoe because I downloaded the Frost 88 pack. It's it's a full, like, four unmarked SUV packs and four unmarked sedan pack. Um, and the one I put for the SUV, obviously, is the Tahoe. And the one I put for the sedan was a Charger. And I was really contemplating using the Charger, but I'm glad my gut feeling told me to go with the Tahoe because that would have been that would have made things hard. Attention, all units. Officers have arrived. Dispatch uh, 1948. Show me 23. Could you go ahead and roll me uh, an additional call for you, please? Backup needed on uh, Marina Drive. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just. This is David Charles. I'm gonna grab my. Copy. I'm gonna grab my rifle. Just in case. 
Hey, bud, 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 yo, yo. Stop right there, man. Stop right there. What the fuck does he have in his hand? Stop right there, man. Oh, my God. He's running. Really? What's up with everybody running today? Yo, the dispatch got one black male in the back. Oh, shh. Uh-oh, 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 oh, he's trying to run me over. He was trying to run me over. Yo, 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 somebody, somebody go after him. Somebody. The backup should go after him. I'm going to go after the car. Uh, this, this batch, I got, uh, I got one car running. Oh, my God, I need to get, get out of here. There we go. Uh, I got one car running. It's going to be a bison, I believe. And a uh, one black male on foot. The car was a white male. Possibly attempted to run me over. I was just talking about how I didn't think there was going to be any pursuits in this. And bam, we're in a pursuit. There we are. Uh, dispatch, show us uh, Algonquin Boulevard westbound. We're about to hit East Joshua Road. Uh, correction, Joshua Road. Make sure we're good here. Man, I'm telling you, this shift is crazy. <laughs> it went from normal to crazy real quick. Okay. Now, uh, west northbound Marina Drive. And he just ran a dog over. He just ran a dog over dispatch. So, westbound Marina Drive heading uh, towards Staff City. We're on the dirt road right now. Okay, he, he kind of attempted to run me over. He just ran a dog over. I'm going to go ahead and call uh, a local patrol unit. Whoa, what is he doing? A dispatch, he's just uh, waiting a U turn now. We're going All back in Marina Drive now eastbound. Marina Drive now eastbound. He's driving very, very, very recklessly, this guy. He's, he wants to get away at all costs, I believe. Why isn't backup coming? You guys realize that? I'm not seeing backup come any, anywhere. I uh, might call air unit just to keep an eye on him as well, because he is driving a little crazy for me. Gotta go ahead and call another. Assistance needed on, um, okay, so back up. I just see it's coming, but it's not really spawning where it should be. Or at least it's spawning realistically, I should say. We're still going here. So, again, this was a silent alarm call that we get, and there was a black male by the door, has something in his hand. As soon as he starts to try to walk away, we told him to stop. Um, ran towards the car, I believe he tried to get in his car. By that time, this gentleman tried almost what seemed like I gotta watch a replay. Streamed like to either bump me or run me over, and uh, now we're after him, and he's coming back to the same area. Uh, we had backup, so I was hoping backup would follow the black gentleman on foot. We're still going, we're still going. Oh, whoa. Okay, dispatch, we're right now uh, southbound Marina Drive on a dirt road once again. He's doing another U turn. We're going back now, we're going back. Northbound Marina Drive, dirt road, more northbound Marina Drive. Dispatch, I get, uh, if we can get a uh, spike strip to stand by by Marina or Joshua or Panorama, I'd appreciate that. Okay, again, backup is not coming. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, calm down. <laughs> calm down there. We're still going. He's not a bad driver. I mean, his car is not the fastest. He already ran a dog over, so there's that. I need some um, damn let's go ahead and call backup again. Backup and see if we can East possibly Joshua get Road. some spike strips. Okay. Please don't make me regret the fact that I called uh, that I called uh, backup. Please don't make me regret the fact. As you know, backup. You know what they do, man. They come and start ramming you more than the suspect does. Even if you have safe tactics on, even if you have any of that stuff. Okay, still going slow. Let's see if we can get a spike strip going at this point. Dispatch, uh, we're uh, northbound Union Road. Any way you can get a spike strip going. He's very smart, so I don't know. If Okay, yep, looks like Park Rangers got him for us, and this. Okay, 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 it looks like we're about to get him, we're about to get him. Watch that cross, watch that cross, I'm not gonna say it again. Yo, hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up. Yo, hands up, man. Get the. Watch a freaking crossfire, man, come on, bro. To Iron Hotel for you, he said. Good job, Todd. This Todd did great. Okay, dispatch. Uh, show us. Show us. Go for. We got one in custody. The other guy on foot. I don't know how realistically I would know where he's at if it's not on the map. 
Oh my god. That was intense. That was intense. All right, bud. Have you uh, have you searched? No, no, I don't want to put him there. Have you searched him yet? Nope. Okay, I'll search him. All right, man. You're on a rest right now. You understand? Fleeing, uh, assault on a police officer, animal cruelty. You got a pencil, a wallet, a pack of cigarettes, sunglasses, a whole bunch of stuff. That's what. That's why. All right. So you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right of an attorney if you can't afford one to set a San Andreas. We'll provide you one of the court's expense. You understand those rights? Okay, what are you doing, man? You have the right to STF, STFU. So you don't want to speak to us is what you're saying. Alright, he doesn't want to speak. He doesn't want to speak. It is what it is. He's pleading a fifth. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna force him to speak. If he's pleading a fifth, then he's pleading a fifth. I mean, I can still ask him. He got a crowbar. Nothing of interest, but a crowbar... Because of the nature of this call, can be, uh, can hurt him in court for sure. I'm sorry, I had to get a chug of water. Always remember to drink your water. Half your body weight. So, if 200 pounds, drink 100 ounces. But I'm not a doctor. <laughs> All right. Um, so, like I said, if he he could be silent, so I, but I can still talk to him and ask him. Uh, let's see. Well, that's nothing really much to ask him. To be honest with you, let's go ahead and just check him. Request. Pet check. I mean, look at his car. He crashed a few times. I'm, I'm not really smelling alcohol or anything like that. Jerry Freeman looks like he's good. Uh, let's ask him if he's been drinking or anything like that. Let's go ahead and ask him. Any drugs lately? Don't look like a drug dealer. I know you do look like somebody that sparked in the back of a closed business, acting all shady. What about drinking? You've been sober for six months. Okay. All right, that's what he wants to talk. That's what he wants to talk. Now this style does. The only thing about this style um, that could be, I guess, not negative. It could be a little different. Is I know Tahoe's tires are a little smaller, or wheels are a little smaller. The pursuit package, but I guess it's not a pursuit package. It's just regular police styles. This one, not really for that. But maybe it's not really meant for, um, for pursuits a whole lot. So it's gonna be very interesting charges on him. I'm gonna try to. Uh, write them up and then we'll come back with you guys man. I wish there was animal cruelty There's not animal cruelty here, but we will get in with uh, with uh, Resisting arrest with violence. We'll just put that for that. We'll take it for nonviolent offenses Now he got a few of them and I'll go ahead and explain to you guys exactly why I put him on He got a rap sheet. He wasn't arrested before resisting arrest with violence. Obviously uh, Him resisting arrest led to a violent action him running a dog over Assault on a public official whether he hit me or not he did aim his car I mean if I didn't move out the way I believe I would have got struck Possession of burglary tools the reason we're putting a crowbar in there um, Is because of the situation what it is a silent alarm was triggered him and the other party were the only two people present So that's something to be argued and talked about in court Trespassing well he was trespassing on a property when he shouldn't have been destruction of private property because he did damage that along with other vehicles and along with other things I'm sure that we can look at the dash cam and look at and leaving the scene of accident because he did um, crash a few times and kept going so that's why he got he got a rap sheet full of things I am I would not want to be him I would not want to be him now we're, what are we gonna do for his accomplice um, let's see where he's at I mean like I said technically technically you know uh, like we wouldn't know where he's at because the cop didn't stick with him so that's why I know some of you guys might disagree with me but that's just my style of, sorry that's just my style of playing I know some of you guys may disagree with me but technically how would I know where he went with him at least I saw the car travel on Algonquin so I knew to head that way to see him but usually when they're that far away and there's nobody with him how would I know where that where the suspect is so that's why so that's why I'm not gonna go after that guy um, I just don't see it as being realistic to be quite frank with you. Required in Santiago, Mount Range. So they're gonna take him. We can go in our car. It's, it was a very busy shift, and this was actually very, uh, very cool chase. You know, for the most part, backup actually was realistic with about the time or how fast they were showing up in because you know sometimes they show up right away it's like what how'd you come here so quick but with that being said ladies and gentlemen you know what time it is but the episode is not done just yet because if you know me then you know i like to do my court cases we do the court case results today we have two cases rolf warden and jerry freeman 
now that's who we have today let's go ahead and take a look at rolf five years five years two years that's 12 years in prison for somebody who's never been convicted before that's a big one especially when it was for personal use he must have had a really bad lawyer but he's getting 12 years in prison and that's very unfortunate for him the judge was not having a good day that day was he and jerry freeman as you can see eight charges against him some of them might be dropped or dismissed and some of them might be probation the outcome for it so let's take a look we got four years in prison for resisting arrest for violence six years for assault a public official not guilty for that the crowbar look, looks like his lawyer talked him out of it so so far 10 years and six months for trespassing so that's 10 years and six months granted probation for destruction of private property seven months wow well, was suspension for for a license suspension so seven months 16 months and granted probation so he got 10 months and uh, 10 years and six months altogether for what he did which was way to me was way more than the drug but the guy with the drugs got way more time poor guy but hey we're not the judge we're not the jury that's why we have that system that's what they seem to be fit i guess at the time i don't agree with it but it is what it is now with that being said ladies and gentlemen once again thank you from the bottom of my heart if you watched this to the end you are awesome go ahead and give yourself a high five <laughs> thank you guys very much hope you guys enjoyed it it has been truly my pleasure with that being said my name is your and i am out i'll see you guys